throughout my career, I've um, had friends, other band directors that have um, commissioned pieces for their students. And I've always had it in the back of my mind to have a piece commissioned. Um, but it just seemed like last year it kind of jumped out at me that it was time that I not only have the, the best kids, I mean, the kids are ready right now, but it's time in my career that I, that I did something like this. And it just so happened I was in contact with a, with a friend who I used to play music with in San Diego. And we were talking one day and um, um, he made the gesture that uh, he said, you know, I've, I've written pieces for other middle schools and high schools before. Would you be interested in doing something like that? And I just knew it was right. I knew it was right and I knew he was the right person to do it. When I, when I talk, discussed this with him, he said, basically, all I really need is kind of a direction, um, a title. What, what, would you, what would you like it called? You know, what, what kind of a um, character would you like the piece to have? So in my Symphonic Winds, which is my top group, um, I brought it up to, the, to that group and I said, you know, what would you like to do? They told me that they wanted something with a lot of motion in it, dark, you know, and we were saying, so what, what, what could we title? What could, you know, what could we call this piece? We went through a lot of things, some more ridiculous than others, and then Stephanie said Pandora's box, and that was very exciting for us. And everybody knew right at that moment that that's what we would call it. It's a really interesting name that you don't hear every day and people don't really know what to expect because there's never been anything, like, it's new. It's mystical, it's really mystical. So the story of Pandora's box starts off with Zeus. Zeus made Pandora, she's the first woman on Earth. And everyone gave her gifts and one of the gifts that she got was curiosity. Which is one of her many gifts from all of the other gods. She got married to Epimetheus and their wedding gift was this box. And it was this really beautiful box with a key, but it had a note and it said, do not open. Just don't open it. Don't open it ever. But because of her gift of curiosity, she just kept getting more and more curious. Oh my gosh, I should open it. No, I shouldn't open it, but I should, but no. Eventually, her curiosity takes over. And it finally got the best of her. And she opens up the box. And when she opened it, all the bad things in the world, all the bad spirits, they came out. Envy, hatred, sickness, disease. All these dark spirits have come out that have threatened to destroy the world and all humanity. She obviously gets very upset about that. Crying, crying, what have I done? I've ruined everything. And her husband found her and he said, what's wrong? And she says that she let all these bad things out into the world and she feels very responsible. And she showed him how the box was empty. Like nothing was there, but then one last spirit came out. And that was hope. 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 And that's why we have hope in the world today. At the very end, uh, where we have the bassoons playing that little line, um, uh, we had, you had written a whole note. We've been able to actually rehearse with Mr. Zupank, you know, from a thousand miles away, where, you know, he's in Minnesota, and he's looking onto our band, and we're looking at him, and he's listening to us, and he's giving us comments, we're giving him feedback, it's like he's in the room. That was honestly the coolest thing that I've ever done. It's so awesome to get feedback on a piece that you're playing and um, you're representing him. Because you know you can't go back and ask Beethoven how to play a certain part in Beethoven's Fifth Symphony because he's long gone. So you know, with working with somebody that you can talk to and get feedback from, I think that that was really amazing. So we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it again, and uh, this time no saxophone. So now, so the change you're gonna make is well, just taking up. Nobody has ever performed it. This is our piece, and it's gonna be our interpretation. Because I thought uh, I felt like it interrupted the, or um, uh, maybe it was a volume thing because I actually just like that right now. Yeah, it's just an extremely proud moment for me, and I hope for my students. I think their accomplishment this year, their um, creating a piece of music, uh, premiering a piece of music, 
showing not only their parents but the 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 community that that they're they're high caliber musicians and that they can play music that is important and it's emotional and has an impact.